Yo, what's going on guys? So this is my uncle's mini bike. It's currently not in working condition. Well, it works. It just doesn't stay working. This is the carburetor and it doesn't give the engine enough fuel. Something's plugged in there. Cause it's, not, it's just not giving the engine enough fuel. So it'll run for about five seconds. Then it'll go, it'll die because it just runs out of fuel. Or if you give it throttle, it'll die in two seconds. It's old, too. But there's nothing wrong with the engine itself. Here's me turning the throttle. Literally, this is homemade. Well, this is homemade except for the engine, of course. Wrong way, turning the throttle the wrong way. That lets in the gas and stuff. That's flooring it right there. There's not much of a margin between flooring it and going 20, but there, it's so old that the way to stop it is this is a string connected to the thing that connects to this, connected to the um, wire going to the spark plug. Pull that and that's how you turn it off. That is how old it is. But still works like a dream. And the carburetor doesn't do stuff like that. I was driving it the other day, and I was like, maybe I should re I, I should record this now, just in case something goes wrong with it when I'm flooring it all the time, because I was just going up and down and up and down, stressed running it, I guess. I don't know. I was just having fun up and down, except for this part right here. After like this point, it's bumpy, so I have to slow down. But once I get to like right here flat road all the way down and I just go flooring it except there's one little spot where they had to patch a hole in the road so it's a bump but I, I just stand I just literally do a stand up on the uh, bars because otherwise it hurts my butt this thing's cushion is 50 years 50 years old so I just stand up for a second when I go over that bump like look look at this so this this cushion doesn't have much cushion left in it. The braking system is hilarious. This is the brake. Literally a metal pad going onto the tire. It's funny. It works. It's efficient. Efficient enough. I had to tighten up the chain a bit. It's still not tight enough. But it's tighter than it was before and it didn't derail but once. I think it should be fine. This thing starts hurting the butt after about 10 minutes of riding because the seat literally, I kid you not, does not have much cushion. And when you're riding, eventually, as you're riding, you'll slowly scoot back into the low point in the seat. Right here. There's nothing here because mice or something sat on. No, no, not mice. Something was set on there, if you can see. Something was set on there for how, God knows how long, 20, 40, 20, 30 years probably, and it left a permanent dent. And when we first took this thing back out two years ago, my uncle was like, I don't know if this thing's gonna run. It didn't. We figured out the problem was something with the carburetor again. Well, this is before when we first took it out though. The float in there, float pin when... So basically how the carburetor works is it, it takes gas from the gas tank to the gas line and mixes the gas with the air. There's a little float pin in there. Now when that float pin reaches the top, it stops more gas from coming in so it doesn't overflow. That float pin was so dry, it didn't float. Well, it wasn't there. So the thing didn't have any fuel in there because it was so dry, it was just stuck up. So it wouldn't let any fuel in, so it wasn't starting. This is the makeshift starter. It's literally, this is a very, very, very old stick. <laughs> and, but, other than that, it runs like a dream after we got that, we were super lucky that he had an extra little pin, a little float. We have to take this entire thing off. 
by the way, this entire, ooh, that's oily underneath there. Underneath there is very oily, apparently. We had to take this entire thing off, and then we took it apart, figured out what the problem was, put it back together. Well, we already knew, he already had an idea of what the problem was probably going to be. He probably knew it was going to be a float. But after that, pulled it twice, started right, right up like a dream. Yeah. You can see this chain is, I think that's actual, I think that's actual wear. I'm pretty sure that's actual wear. That's how many times it's been pulled. But I will make it part two when we get this thing running centrifugal clutch he taught he taught me most of this i'm just saying what he taught me this is a centrifugal clutch which makes all the torque it's got little things in there it's got little feet he calls them and when you start spinning they'll start going outwards and once they get outwards that's when you get the most amount of torque and you're at full speed this is uh got what he called it a bridge uh, i think it's a bridge yeah bridge and stratton bridge stratton three horse engine very old. We have to put an air filter on it because that's the reason it's probably not working right. That's one of the reasons, more than likely, that it's not working right is because we don't have an air filter on there and it sucked in a bunch of dust or some shit. We had a storm the other day, knocked down a bunch of trees. People were cutting those trees up, probably put a bunch of sawdust in the air. That thing probably sucked up most of that like a hog. It sucked up a bit of it, probably. That's probably one of the factors it's not working and the other one is not getting enough fuel. We tested the fuel line already. That is fine. We took it off this right here. Took it off the carburetor. The gas ran out of it just fine. It's not a gas. At first, when it stopped running, and I told my uncle, he thought I ran it clear out of oil. And then for you, if you don't know, if I would, if I had ran it clear out of oil, it would have burned up the engine and the engine would have never worked again. Unrepairable, unfixable. Luckily, we checked the oil. There was still a bit in there. Now, I'm not saying it was a lot. There was still enough. There was still a bit. But we took all the oil out, replaced it with new oil, because we thought, oh, maybe the oil is the problem. So then we tried to start it back up. Same thing, ran for five, five, six seconds, died. Gave her some throttle, maybe the throttle was needed. Nope, died way quicker so we figured out it's a gas and gas a problem not getting enough gas so something had to have gotten up in there stopping the gas but i don't know how i'm gonna mount my phone to this because i don't want to have to hold it this thing gets this thing will get started to it'll start to get pretty kind of shaky when you floor it but otherwise it's fine It'll get a little shaky, and I don't want to have to drive it with one hand, because that's how accidents are caused. And when I'm on a metal, steel-framed mini bike that's 60 years old, has no safety measures, and can go probably 40 miles an hour if I floor it, I'd be pretty much either dead or very, very, very injured if I fall off of it at max speed. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in part two. Bye, guys.